guys play for each other. What, what, how would you describe that? Uh, just a unity among our teammates. I think that's been building up from when we started here in April, uh, really holding each other accountable, uh, trusting each other, trusting the coaching staff, uh, and then honestly just going to pretty much most of our games, being underdogs, understanding, having that mentality that, you know, we're all we got. And uh, taking that and really buying into that, I think it's really brought everybody together and understanding that when we play together and we, we trust each other and we talk on, on the sidelines, staying poised, staying calm in, in times of adversity, it's really brought us together. And, uh, you know, whenever you, uh, when you sweat and you bleed and, you, you know, you shed a couple of tears with, with, with some brothers and some guys, it's going to build a great brotherhood. Logan said back in April that getting Dean Pease back this year was like a first-round draft pick. The, the, the difference in the defensive game plans and the challenges the last couple of weeks, I mean, how much have you seen that and how fortunate do you feel to be playing for Dean right now? I've said it multiple times. I've been super, super duper blessed to play for two legendary defensive coordinators in Dick LeBeau and Dean Pease. Dean Pease has, you know, allowed us, you know, as a defense and as defensive leaders to really take ownership of our team. And uh, we, we, we felt like at times we weren't playing well, but as of right now, uh, I think we're playing at a very high level. We're playing confident. And honestly, we're just executing a little bit better. Like, we're executing better in the red zone. We're doing what we need to do. And uh, I mean, Dean Pease, man, he's, he's been doing it for a long time. He's won Super Bowls. So it's very easy to trust a guy like him and, and the game plan that he brings to us every single week. When you say you're executing better in the red zone, what does that mean? What, what's happening that wasn't happening before? You know, just a lot of, I think, guys just really holding ourselves accountable and really you know, dissecting our film throughout the entire year, uh, learning what's, what's been working, learning what hasn't been working, and a lot of it wasn't working. So I think it was really just us really coming together. Not 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 only as just coaching staff, as just players, just really saying that, hey, we're not playing well, we need to do better. And really, like you said, really trying to execute what we're doing, rather if it's in the rush, in the coverage, and things like that. But at the end of the day, you know, as you go along in January, uh, the previous weeks doesn't matter. We're going to have to go out there and do it again. Uh, with explosive offense like Kansas City, those guys score a lot of touchdowns. We're going to have to limit those guys to field goals. Can you imagine a more challenging road towards the Super Bowl for a team than you know, the Patriots on the road, the number one seed on the road, and now these guys back to back to back? Not in recent memory, for sure. I mean, the, the, the teams that we've been able to defeat uh, are very formidable opponents. Talking about the GOAT and Tom Brady in the league MVP and Lamar Jackson. I mean, just like I said, having that role warrior mentality, really sticking together as teammates, uh, has really brought us so far. Has really brought us far. So uh, we're just going to have to keep doing it. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, man, Patrick Mahomes was the MVP last year. So uh, we understand the challenge that we have coming up this week. We're really going to have to lock in on everything that the coach is going to give us game plan wise and go out there and try to execute and win another big game on the road. Where does he put the most stress on the defense? Everywhere. Uh, deep down the field, intermediate game, short passing game. He can run. Uh, this guy can He can make every single play on the field. Uh, so I think, you know, just playing those guys earlier in the year, I just remember, uh, you know, at the end of the game and the next day, body was sore. I was mentally tired. And I feel like it's the same exact feeling, the same exact feel I'm going to have to have at the end of this game by really being mentally keyed in on every single snap, uh, trying to really understand what they're trying to do to us to defeat us. And uh, it's, it's going to have to be everybody. It's going to take a total team effort to win this game. As much yeah. as everybody wants to go to the Super Bowl, Kevin, what, what would this mean, you think, for a guy like uh, uh, Case, who's been here for several years and, and gone through some of the real struggles uh, here as well? Honestly, I think just getting to the AFC Championship game means a lot for him. And, uh, you know, we can't really start thinking about the Super Bowl until we get past the Kansas City Chiefs. So all that is really, I mean, in my mind, it seems so far away because I'm so focused on this game right here. And I think that's what's got us here, really just focusing on week to week, day, day by day. And, uh, I mean, we definitely want to go get this win for Casey, uh, for the guys that's been here for a long time, who have, you know, seen all the ups and downs in, in this team and this organization. So, but the way that we can show Casey that, you know, we're thankful for all his efforts and things like that. Let's go out here and try to win a ball game. And uh, that's what we're going to do as a team. That's what we're going to focus on the Kansas City Chiefs and not focus on anything outside of that. How do you say to a guy when you hear him talk about the Super Bowl and how tough is it not to, to think about how great that might be and being so close? I mean, it's going to be a challenge for sure. I mean, I, I'm going to tell it to the team. It's going to be a challenge that we have to stay locked in. We have to really remember what got us here. That's the main thing, really just – Understanding that, hey, even though we're so close, we're still so far away. Um, 
the th the reason why we're here where we were we're here where we are now, being that we was two and four, uh, you know everybody thought the sky was falling, but we kept telling each other, hey, let's just try to get one to know this week. Let's try to get the one to know this week, and it's been a formula that's been working for us. So I mean, why change now if it ain't broke? Don't fix it. So I th I think that's the mentality we had to take. Sorry. Have you seen Vrabel maybe change and grow in the two years that he's been here? He hasn't changed much, honestly. Uh, I think just, you know, as being a first-time head coach, when you're trying to implement your message and you're trying to implement uh, what you want to do and how you want our team to be by playing fast and aggressive, uh, doing everything with effort and finish, I think, you know, it, it, it takes some time. You know, a lot, it's, it's not a lot of coaches in history that just come out in their first year and just win a ton of games. But I think what he's done as far as changing the culture here has been nothing short of incredible. And I think that guys have really bought in. And honestly, just him as a coach, I think just the communication that he has open with his players and not only having the communication open with the players, but actually getting on the field with the players, practicing, not just necessarily practicing with them, but actually getting into drills. I, I think that's really has done something special to the players as far as really being able to trust him and trust what he's trying to, you know, get us to do week in and week out. So. I mean, like I said, I don't think much has changed, man. Just I think guys are really just bought into the message. What was that difference culture? in the culture? Because two years ago when you were in the playoffs, everybody said you guys had a great culture. Right. How did he make the culture better? Um, I wouldn't just say he made the culture better, but I think it's just, you know, this, this, is not, this is not the same exact team from two years ago. Even though, like you said, we was able to go to the divisional round, we lost against the Patriots, but I just think this time around, uh, it, it's, it's really just a different feel. Uh, I can't necessarily just pinpoint exactly what's, you know, like you said, as far as the culture and different things like that, but I can say that uh, guys are really just fighting for each other. It's, it's, it's a different level of brotherhood, different level of unity. Uh, and I think, honestly, the biggest thing is that guys, we truly, really believe that we can win every single ball game that we play in. You know, you're talking about uh, having a lot of years of, of mediocrity in, in this franchise, but now I think everybody in our community can really trust and believe that, you know, we can win every single game that we play. And that's what we believe in our locker room. And, and that's all we need. As a defensive player, are you looking at Derrick Henry right now and saying, thank God he's on our side? I mean, I say it all the time. Uh, I'm, I'm just glad that he's in our locker room. He's a, he's a guy that's I've watched mature and grow, you know, throughout his entire time being here. We both came in together. And I'm super proud of all his accomplishments and everything he's been able to do. Uh, we always and we always knew that he was a beast. I'm just glad that the whole world knows as well. Kevin, with the Brock coming in late, playing the way he's playing, Correa stepping up long last week. How important are the, you know guys like that who are kind of you know getting better late in the season and giving you those contributions? It's super important because it's going to take all 11. It doesn't just take you know a couple guys here, a couple guys there to get to the point that we are now. It takes everybody, and to be able to have Tremaine Brock to come in late in the year, learn the defense to play as well as he's playing. Uh, Kamala Correa has really been he's been playing great football and having a door back, man. Having a door back has been key for us. He went out there and played great snaps on us uh, on Saturday. So like I say it's going to take everybody, man. It's going to take everybody again to win on Sunday, and uh, I know we're super excited for the challenge. As the playoffs go on, the platform gets bigger. This week will probably be the biggest one y'all had yet. What do you and you guys as a secondary have to do to put your statement and imprint on this game? Win. Uh, win. It's not about going out there trying to, you know, not necessarily say stop anybody, anything like that. It's going out there trying to do whatever we could do to get a W. Um, we understand the challenge that we have with Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill and Hardman and Patrick Mahomes and all these different weapons that he have out there, uh, you know, it's going to take everybody. It's not just going to take the secondary. It's going to take, you know, when we play zone for the underneath coverage guys to, to play their zones well and things like that. So it's going to take a whole entire team effort. But, uh, I mean, me personally, I think just as a secondary, uh, being some most of the leaders on the team, being some of the leaders on the team, just really, you know, understand that, like you said, you know, when you play, when you win games in January, the games get bigger, the lights get brighter. Uh, we really just gonna have to make sure that we're, we're playing with poise. And that's what I talked about on Saturday, going out there playing with poise, because all these environments are going to be hostile. Uh, Baltimore was hostile, and I guarantee you Kansas City might be a little worse. It's going to be a little louder as well. So just going out there understanding that, don't get frustrated. Patrick Mahomes is going to make plays. But when he does make plays, let's settle down and uh, let's try to go out there and go tit for tat with these guys. Kevin, you mentioned the, the community, and you guys aren't playing home games anymore to see it. But I mean, are you sensing changing the community and the support of the team with what y'all are doing now. Yeah, I mean, it's been incredible just, you know, seeing it on social media. When we got back here from the 
from the game on Saturdays, see a ton of fans out here at 2.30 in the morning, ready to greet us, you know, coming back from the buses. Uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. But like I said, man, it's really about just trying to go out there and do what we need to do on Sunday. I guarantee you we went on Sunday, we'll see a lot more fans here greeting us when we get back from Kansas City. So, I mean, but at the end of the day, man, it's the, the community has it's been nothing short of incredible. Honestly, I've been seeing a lot of fans been supporting us from, from the jump. I mean, of course, anytime you're getting this far in the playoffs, you're going to see a lot more support, and that's understandable. But, uh, I mean, the city deserves it. The city deserves uh, a team that can compete for AFC championships, and uh, we have to go out there and deliver. Did you hear from any players wow. about winning in Baltimore? Any of the former players? You talking about, about winning in Baltimore? Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, I'm, I'm, I always keep tabs with Michael Griffin. Uh, he texts me as well. He kind of texts me about uh, I try to step on Lamar Jackson. And he was like, you've been uh, in Derrick Henry's uh, his little his little playbook. But uh, I mean, a lot of guys reach out. Brian Arakpo, uh and just seeing guys just reach out on social media and stuff like that. Like I said, we have a real tight knit community as far as not even just the fans, but just you know the former players that play here. They're always here to support and uh, do what they need to do to help us out. So it's been it's, it's been great.